Around two months ago, we had taken a look at LLMware, which is possibly one of the best toolkits out there for building large language model based applications with patterns, including retrieval, augmented generation. This project provides an integrated set of tools that anyone can use. Now, one of the main reasons why we are covering LMware once again is because of many new updates that elevate the toolkit even further. Now, this is where I would like to introduce SLIMS, which stands for Structured Language Instruction Models that are small, specialized, function calling 1 billion parameter large language models that have been carefully fine-tuned to provide structured outputs that can be handled programmatically. Now, what does this all mean? Well, you basically now are able to unlock AI agents, function calls, multi-step brag with LMware. Just take a look at the example in this next clip where we're going to be able to get a better understanding as to how you can use the sentiment analysis slim model, which is one of 50 plus models that LMware provides to help you learn how to use large language model outputs programmatically. This is to create if then gates and other workflows. You can use an earnings call to programmatically determine sentiment with the slim tool. Just take a look. But how do you really start to deliver structured reports with well-identified keys that ultimately map up then with enterprise processes and enterprise data? And then actually, how do you do all of this privately and in private cloud? What we believe people ultimately want, where things are in 2024, is the, the output of that whole process then is not another big report. It's something that looks a lot like this. Decomposing this through a whole set of structured steps, specialized models going out, reading the text, identifying key things, and automatically packaging it up and generating it. It's a really nice dictionary report like this. So to maybe lay it out in a slightly bigger picture, in a minute we're gonna take a look at the demo, but just to motivate it, you have an incoming text, some type of work item coming in. You then want a whole series, right? A whole series of different models that can be stacked together, that can be orchestrated to form an end-to-end -end process to go through multiple steps of analysis. The first model might come in and do some type of extraction of key information, perhaps of named entities or of people. You then may want to pass that to a classifier model that's going to be looking at some soft skills type of classification. Perhaps it's the intent or sentiment or emotion or an overall topic category. Based on that, route it in different directions. Perhaps we want to go then and route this to an overall question answering model answer and ask a bunch of questions, or perhaps we want to, based on the classification that we've received, do some additional lookup, run a query against an enterprise data store. And then finally, we wanna package all of this work up, write some type of report, and have that seamlessly integrate into some business as usual enterprise process. Now, underpinning all of this is a scalable data pipeline of an AI-ready knowledge base that consists of documents that have been text chunked and parsed and indexed, have been vectorized, having run through an embedding model, but it also increasingly includes C SQL table data. Most of the valuable data in an enterprise is SQL table data. How does that start to connect to these types of workflows? Again, we see that as one of the key things to really unlocking the potential of a lot of LLM-based automation. So this is, in a nutshell, the problem that we're ultimately trying to crack and where we believe the SLIM models, and the SLIM models are every single one of those uh, di the diamonds on the chart, now, isn't that amazing? This is just one of many new features that LM Bear has been releasing. And I truly recommend that you take a look at this video, which I will leave a link to in the description below. This is truly a great video, which showcases how slims are being used in a rag workflow. So if you're interested, take a look at that video link in the description below. I also recommend that you actually give these guys a star on GitHub as they have been able to develop an open source model completely for free and ready to use right now. And in this case, the purpose of the slims is to provide more specialized structured language understanding and processing capabilities for programmatically handling natural language data this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video so you can get a better idea as to what you can do in terms of unlocking ai agents you have the ability to work with these slims which offer a powerful and flexible solution for processing nl data
So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to 7 paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaboration with the community, as well as with myself, daily AI news, AI resources and tools, giveaways, and so much more more if you're interested take a look at the patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai today's video we're going to be taking a look at lm where once again as they have recently just upgraded their toolkit even further they have released slims which are structured language instruction models which they have released 50 of even more i believe and they're basically 1 billion parameters small language models that are designed to address three main needs for businesses as well as developers firstly they address the need or issue of agents for complex workflows secondly function calls for structured outputs and thirdly, you have integration with private cloud systems. They have developed Slims so that it is able to provide outputs that are easier to work with programmatically, such as Python dictionaries, you have JSON files, as well as SQL. Now, the Slim series, which they have up uploaded on Hugging Face, are function calling, you have structured output models, and they're basically really innovative and they also have cutting edge for AI agents use cases. They have designed all of these models for complementing general language models and business workflows. And it's also used in different developer use cases, which can benefit for many common training approaches. Now, th what they have done is that Slims have been able to automate tasks in businesses as well as in developer use cases without relying on expensive hardware like GPU. Use. They have released marks on important steps forward in making language models more usable in many use cases, and it's going to offer for a comprehensive set of tools and models to support various sorts of tasks. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. So I know I mentioned that they have released 50 plus models, but what I'm trying to get is that LMware is now offering a comprehensive tool set that is rapidly developing scalable large language model applications with these models. With an LM based platform as well as over 50 plus of these models, you're able to see that it's providing all the necessary components for end to end solutions. Now I'm going to be explaining each and every model a little bit more in detail as in terms of the section, not all 50, but you can see that all of these models that are available on Hugging Face are prioritizing small specialized models that can run efficiently on CPU use with, with their 1 billion parameter model size all the way going to i believe 9 billion in terms of its parameter size and basically it's facilitating quick prototyping using their integrated rag platform this will allow you for an ideal setup for data sensitive use cases whether that's on the private cloud or on private premise environments additionally you're also able to see that it's supporting ggf models within their platform now, if you are to go to the repo, they basically break down all of their model types. Now, there's 50 plus, as I mentioned, but if we are to take a look at the Slim model series, which you can see on their model card, you can see that there's 50 plus of these models. There's different collections, the Dragon models, the Bling models, and this is something that we're going to take a look at. But with the Slim models, we're able to see in their example list, you can see that they have developed all of these small models, which are specialized models that are designed for function calling. You have multi-step, multi-modal agent workflow models, and they're basically fine-tuned to perform specific tasks efficiently. For example, there's a model list, which you can see over here, and all of these models have their specific use case for sentiment. You have emotions, tags, and we can see that it also specifies it specifies the platform requirements needed to have it operational on your local host. If that is not operational for you, even though they have produced such a small parameter size, you can have it hosted on the cloud. And I also made a video on how to host these large language models on the cloud. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But if we are to go back, we can see that their other series is the Dragon model series. And these are production ready rag optimized models and they come 
with a range of five to seven billion parameter models. They excel quite well in complex tasks and they're built for leading foundation and they're built on the leading foundation models. Thirdly, you have Bling model series, which are small CPU based rack optimized models. They are one to three billion parameter models and they're designed for efficiency and are particularly suited for CPU deployment, meaning that they're mostly used in CPU based rack systems. Then you have industry BERT models. These are custom trained sentence transformer embedding models that are tailored for specific industries such as insurance, contracts, you have asset management, as well as SAC. Now they help in understanding and processing industry specific text data a little bit better. And lastly, you have GGUF quantization, and this refers to providing quantized versions of any of or of many slim models, whether that's a dragon model series or even a bling model series, and they're optimized for CPU deployment. It enhances the efficiency of these models, and this is for when they're being deployed on CPU based systems. Now, you might be wondering, what can you actually do with this slim upgrade? Well, in this case, we're going to be taking a look at this example, which is going to illustrate how to utilize LMware slims. And in this case, there's easy steps to tackle various NLP tasks effectively. Now, as you know, slims are small, they're specialized models, and they're able to streamline complex workflows. And this is by performing specific tasks efficiently. For instance, they can summarize text, they can extract tags, they can identify topics, analyze the intent, categorize the content, and even perform named entity recognition. Now, if you are to take a look at this case, you can see that this person gave a text and asked Slim's LMware agent to give me a quick analysis of it. So we can see that this was then inputted into LM's Streamlit application of focusing on intensive enterprise NLP tasks. And we can see over here that it's able to generate an output of generated tags, performing a summarization of that text, performing an NER, as well as identifying topics of it. Now with Slims, businesses or even developers can automate tasks without the need for expensive hardware, which is making AI more accessible. This example over here is going to showcase the practical demonstration of creating agents using Slims. This is through Python and we can see that you just need Streamlit, you need a web framework and it's able to utilize it, all these different like environments and tools to create a user-friendly interface for performing the NLP task. Now through this approach, you can basically enhance productivity, you can streamline the operations, and you can leverage AI's capability effectively. And you can see that there's many use cases and there's many things that you can do with it because there's many different models with different use cases. And I truly recommend that you read through each blog post that there is, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, which will give you more details as to what you can do with it. And I'll also give you their Discord because they have a really cool community, which I truly recommend that you take a look at as they have a lot of people helping each other out and growing within that community to grow your own product or your own LM based the application. Now I already made a video as to how you can install it. So if you're interested, take a look at it in the description below. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on LMware. This is a great new upgrade to their toolkit as these new models are going to be able to enhance many different use cases in the AI space. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page in the description below. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news as well as staying up to date with whatever is happening in the AI space with daily resources, collaboration, and such what you have daily AI news being given to you on the Twitter page if you haven't seen this already. So definitely give this a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.